hi let's move on with the some of the dress up features before dress up features have you ever observed any of your casting plastic forging or injection molding components have you ever seen those components have you ever done any observation in those components there is something common in those components and the same thing we will be discussing also we will see how exactly we can apply that using katia i'll show you some of the components like transfer case housing you can see the component this is uh, one of your casting component you produce it by casting valve cover there can be flanges battery box can be produced by injection molding or any other process uh, depends pill bottle lid there is something common in these casting forging plastic or injection molding components the common thing is the walls of these components are not flat this is not flat what we have is we have a bit of taper available on the walls of these components these components are being tapered from outside as well as from the inside the walls were provided some sort of taper why when you produce casting component plastic component injection molding process you use or forging process you use to produce any of the component then you want your component to be removed what you do say for an example if you will go for the casting then you will be uh, creating the molds in those molds first you will be uh, placing the original component which is actually available with you yes why because you want to create the cavity once you will place the component in the sand what you want to form the cavity you will remove that component out of the sand when you want the component to be removed easily then you must provide some taper at the walls otherwise while removing your component which is originally available with you i can call it as pattern when you will try to remove that out of the cavity out of the molds it may damage the mold if your mold is being damaged then there is no point in going for further process so what we do for easy removal of our pattern from the dies or from the molds what we do is we provide some taper to the walls of our component just for easy removal now whether it is your casting component whether it is your forging component or the plastic components using injection molding processes we have seen some of the products what we do is we provide some taper at the walls that taper is actually in technical terms called as the draft the same draft we will see using katia v5 before going for draft there are some initial things required we must understand some terms which we will be using 
we must understand the necessary requirements for the draft just like we had some necessary requirements for pad pocket the requirements were you must have a closed loop sketch available you must have at least one sketch available for rip slot we had some requirements like you must have a profile as well as a path available the profile should be perpendicular to the path we had some requirements for fillets and chamfer that you must have material available until unless you will have material you will not be able to provide the fillet and chamfers why because you will not be able to find the edges or faces to apply them so these are the default requirements you must have those things similarly when you apply the draft there are some requirements and there are some few things on which you have to focus or which you have to select when you apply the draft let's have a look at those things in the software there are three prerequisites required when you want to apply the draft or there are three selections you need to provide when you apply the draft first selection is faces to draft you will need to select a face or faces on which you want to apply the draft you will need to select the faces which you want to be tapered second selection is your neutral element neutral element is actually a plane or face about which you will be applying the draft it will be a plane or face where the dimension of your object will never change while applying the draft when you will apply the taper on a particular face then definitely dimensions about that face will change so when you will select a particular face or plane as a neutral element then at the location of neutral element the dimensions will not change third and most important thing is pulling direction with the draft angle you will also need to define the pulling direction in which direction you want your object to be pulled accordingly you will be able to define the draft position whether it is inward draft or outward draft depending upon how you are going to pull your component or pull your pattern also provided your draft angle how much angle of the draft you want to provide let's have a look at the draft so i have one component available i have created using feature what i want is i want to apply the draft i will directly go for dress up features draft angle or draft feature i'll select this as discussed there are three things required to be selected faces to draft neutral element and pulling direction faces to draft on which face you want to apply the draft i'll go for selection let's say i want this particular face to be tapered i'll select this i'll just rotate it so that it will be visible to you properly yeah like this okay yeah next is neutral element neutral element as i told you the face or plane where the dimensions will not change so when i am applying draft on this face it means it will either go this way it will either go this way or it will go this way or this way so this particular face will be tapered means these dimensions will be changing at different different levels say i don't want to change the dimensions over here at the bottom level i can select the face of uh, the bottom face of the 
object I have created or I can select the plane over here so for now I'll select the plane as neutral element and then pulling direction with the draft angle so pulling direction it is showing you as upward pulling direction will always be perpendicular to the neutral element I have selected this one as neutral element so it is perpendicular either upward or downward when you are saying upward it means your draft will be like this see the preview on as as you will go upward the dimension or the length will reduce then and then only you can pull your object upward if you want it to be changed to downward then you can simply click over here now it is downward I'll again show you the preview you can see the change have a look this is how it will look like so as the direction of pulling is downward you go upside the size will increase this is how you apply the draft I'll just change the direction again and I'll say ok to this so there is a taper on this particular face and a draft feature is added in your feature tree you can select actually multi multiple faces for applying the draft say one two now I have selected total three faces see preview so on all these three faces draft is applied about the neutral element which is this one you cannot have multiple selections for neutral element remember that then uh, instead of modifying the draft let's modify the pad first what I will do I have selected this as your neutral element the plane as neutral element what I will do I will add some more material in the mirrored manner now have a look at this when you are applying the draft go for the preview check the case I'll show you one of the view hmm. see this so at this particular location where I have selected the neutral element I am not being able to see any changes with the dimension see this this blue line in the upward direction it is uh, removing some material in the downward it is adding some material so at the level of neutral element I am not being able to see any changes with respect to the size of my feature this is what your draft feature is this is what your neutral element does next if this neutral element is actually the parting line of my dies you have two dies available when you go for the casting or uh, injection molding or forging case upward die and bottom die top die bottom die the location the plane the face where both the dies match that location is actually called as parting line if you want to define that parting line in the software for the betterment I'll select all four faces on which I want to apply the draft now it is like this if I want to define the parting line as well then I have the option for that as well I'll just expand the draft definition window and I'll shift it over here yes what I want is I want to define parting line as the neutral element so in the middle I will have parting line of both the dies now my component is single component but half of the portion is in the top die half of the portion is in bottom die definitely pulling direction for both the portions of my component will be different so in that case what I will need to do is I will need to apply the draft on both the sides 
I'll click on this and check the preview. I'll again see. See the preview. Now this is my parting line or neutral element. On the upward, it is showing the draft as inward. Also on the downward, it is showing draft as inward. So this portion will be pulled like this and this portion will be pulled like this. This is what your draft definition is. Have a look at this in the isometric manner. See, this is how the draft is applied. So three selections. First is faces to draft. Second is neutral element and third is pulling direction with the draft angle. We have few types of the draft. In the draft sub toolbar, we will be able to see that. First type we have seen that is your draft angle or simple draft type. Second type is your variable angle draft. We have seen variable radius fillet and variable caudal length fillet. Similarly, we have variable angle draft. I'll select this faces to draft. Say this one neutral element, this one. You can see on this particular face, I am getting two values of the draft angle. Double click on that. If you want to change, change it. Check the preview. So see, observe this. You have a variation in the draft angle. Similar manner, you can increase the number of points where you want to control the draft angle throughout the face. This is what your variable angle draft is. The third type of draft is your draft reflect line. This is a specific case. For the explanation, first we will discuss one example. I'll apply a fillet over here like this. Now, suppose I want to apply the draft on this face then I'll simply go for draft I'll select the face and then when I'll go for neutral element I'll select this one now the problem comes is like this what happens that your draft is applied but over here the fillet is actually not maintaining the tangency when you want that to happen that you want to maintain the fillet as well and you want to maintain the draft as well in that case you use draft reflect line this draft reflect line actually is applicable on the tangent faces when you want to apply the draft on tangent faces and select this i don't need to select this or i don't need to select this what i need to select is the tangent face define the pulling direction as per your requirement and go for preview see it is maintaining the tangency over here and it is applying the draft as well. This is what your draft and its types.